All right then, my friends. So now we're successfully going out and grabbing the data from our collection using this get method. Now in this video, I want to show you how we can actually add data from the front end. So create some kind of form where they can add in the name of the cafe and the location and then press submit to add that data to the Firestore database so that it adds over here. So how are we gonna approach this? Well, first things first, we need to create the HTML for that form at the top. Now, this is gonna be very simple. Inside this form right here, all we need are two input fields. So first of all, input, and the type is gonna be text. We'll also give this a name property, and the name is gonna be name, because it's the name of the cafe we want. And then also we'll give this a placeholder, which is gonna be equal to cafe name. Okay, so we'll do one more input, and that is gonna be for the city. So again, of type text, then the name is gonna be city this time. And then finally, placeholder, which will be equal to cafe city. Okay, so we have those two input fields. We also need a button, and inside here we'll say add cafe. Okay then, so that's our form HTML sorted. And if we look in the browser, we see up there at the top, it looks quite pretty because of the CSS that I added previously. Not terribly pretty, but okay. And now we can start to add data inside these fields. But at the minute, if we press this button, nothing's gonna happen. We've not hooked up the functionality. So let's do that now inside app.js. So the first thing we need to do is grab a reference to that form that we just created right here. Now that has an ID of add cafe form. So let's copy that. And in here, what I'll do is create another constant, call this form and set it equal to documents.querySelector and then grab the form by pasting in this ID right here. Okay, so we have a reference to that form now. So the next thing we want to do is fill in data into this form, listen for a submit event on that form and then fire off the data to Firestore. So let's come down here and create a little comment and this will be called saving data. And in fact, we'll do one above this to say getting data. So we know what these different things do. So the first thing we want to do is listen for a submit event on this form. So whenever a user clicks on this or whenever they click enter, right? So let us now say form dot add event listener. And the event that we're gonna listen for is gonna be the submit event. Now this fires back a callback function and it takes the event object, which I'll call E as a parameter. You can call this EVT or something else if you want. Then the first thing I'll do is prevent the default action from happening because when we click on something over here, if we click on submit or the button, what happens is it reloads the page. Now we don't want that default action to happen. What we want to do is prevent that action and instead just interact with the Firestore. So the first thing I'll do inside this callback function is take the event and then use a method called prevent default and that prevents the default action from occurring. So if I save this now and try to click on this button when I submit, now it's not gonna refresh the page, okay? So now then, underneath this, the next thing I'd like to do is again, get a reference to our cafe's collection because that's where we want to add the new document. So to do that, again, we say db, because we created that over here, the constant. Then we say dot collection, much like we did above, to grab this collection. And the collection we want is, again, the cafe's collection. Okay, so last time when we got the data, we used a method called dot get. This time on the collection, we want to add a document. So we use, ta-da, the add method. All right, so this method takes in an object as a parameter. And this object right here, this is gonna represent our document. So inside this object, we need to specify a name property and a city property because that's what our documents have. So the name is gonna be the form, which we have a reference to up here, remember? Then we wanna say dot name because that is the value of the name of this field right here. So we can grab an input field by saying the form and then the name of that input field, which we are doing. So form dot name, then dot value to grab the value inside that form, inside that input field. Okay, so the city is then gonna be the form dot city because that's the name of this field right here, 
All right, if we called this blah, then it would be form.blah.value. All right, so now we're getting those two values. We're storing them inside this object, which represents our new document. And what we're doing is adding them to this Cafe's collection. So that takes care of that now. It's automatically gonna go out and do that. And by the way, we can do all of this stuff on the database purely because we've set up our database right here using Firebase, okay? They're not just magically added to this object right here. They're all loaded into the Firebase SDK. So anyway, once we've done that, once we've added a new document, then we should see it over here, shouldn't we? So let's give this a whirl. I'll make sure I save my app.js and head over to the browser. And what I'll do is add in a new cafe. So I'll call this Sean's Magic Coffee Emporium. And this is going to be in Manchester. Okay, so add cafe. Mm. Now it doesn't update over here and that's expected. But if we go over here, we can see now we have three documents, not two. And if we click on the top one, we can see the new document. It's been added. Now, if I want to see over here for now, I have to refresh. But before I do that, what I'd like to do is one little extra thing inside the JavaScript. And that is to clear out these fields when I've added it so that I can add a new one if I want to. So to do that, let's go down here. And after this, we'll say form to grab the reference to our form again, then dot name dot value is going to be equal to nothing, an empty string to empty the value of that input field. We'll do the same for the city one. So form dot city dot value is going to be equal to an empty string. All right, so let's save that and let's add another one. I'm going to call this Luigi's mansion. And by the way, when I made a save over here, it refreshed the page over here and we can see that new document now output to the browser, which is cool. It's worked. And then over here, this is going to be somewhere spooky. Okay, so let's add this cafe. Now it empties these fields so we can easily add a new one if we want to. We don't see it here, but if we refresh, we should see that added document Luigi's Mansion right there. And we should see it inside the Firestore as well. If we click on this top document, we can see Luigi's Mansion. Okay, so this is working pretty well. Yeah, we don't get live updates when we add the cafe, but we will look at real-time updates later on in the course. But for now, in the next video, what I'd like to do is divert your attention to deleting data in the Firestore.